We put curtains in the entire RV except for the loft, but that's a story for another time, for about $350. And we did it without putting any holes in the walls. Okay, I'm gonna take these, uh, what do we call these things? Ugly window box things. Okay, well I'm gonna take these ugly window boxes off. You said you liked them. So you can take the shades off too, because. I don't need them. Nope. These are very easy to take down. Just a few screws and the shades are on these clips that you push in and the shade just comes right off. And save that screw to put back into the window frame. It's amazing to me how much bigger and brighter it is. Yeah, that is nuts, that difference. It's gonna look so nice. I mean, it makes sense that it seems like it's so much bigger because these things protrude from the wall like stinking four inches darn near. Did you ever come up with an estimate? What's your guess about how much they weigh? No. How much do you think these window boxes are going to weigh? Comment below with your guess. I have to say it was much more than I thought it was going to be. Get Brandy. <laughs> How much do you think? You think that's like 15, 20 pounds? No, that has to be 30. Oh, yeah. 236.4. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Oh! Okay, here we go. Okay, empty handed. <gasps> and all your clothes. Yes, yeah. You probably have to go poop. 13, that's. What was it? 231? 236. Yeah, 236. So, how much? 23 pounds. So here's what I have for the living room. Some command curtain rod holders, a half inch diameter decorative curtain rod, and uh, some curtain clip rings. And then I got a two pack 63 inch blackout panels. Either end of the panels can be used with a curtain rod, which made things much easier. Cutting one panel in half was perfect for the large windows and two of the smaller windows. To cover 11 windows in the living room and bedroom, it took four panel pairs, and I have a little bit of fabric left over. This stuff is amazing, and by the way, I will leave links for as much as I possibly can in the description below. You want to make sure that you get the fabric fuse that is permanent. It's very easy to use. Basically, it's a double-sided tape that you put on the fabric, and you peel back the paper, which peels back very easily, and I was very pleasantly surprised by that. This was my first time using fabric fabric fuse and I'm a believer this stuff is awesome. So I peeled back a little of the paper at a time just to make sure that I kept everything nice and straight and then you just fold the fabric over and press it down really well. I used my Cricut roller to really press it down once all the hems were finished. Just take your time and be careful because this stuff is really strong and once you fold it over even before you press it down it starts to bond. I messed up on one little part and I had to tear it apart and it tore some of the fabric. So like I said, just take your time with it. So here's what the curtain rod holders look like. Um, it says that they will hold a rod up to three quarter inch diameter. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping for curtain rods. They come with four strips that go on the back. One side is the wall side and the other command side is what attaches to the back of the hook. They hold up to 10 pounds, which is plenty strong enough. I love command hooks for the RV, so when I saw these, I thought, oh my goodness, these are perfect because I didn't want to put any holes in the walls to hang up curtains. So I marked the wall where I wanted them and I cleaned the wall really well with alcohol. 
Then you stick them on firmly and press it for 30 seconds. And according to the package directions, you want to wait at least one hour before putting any weight on the hooks. Take it from me, I got in a hurry and my curtains fell down after like five minutes. We ran into a trim issue here. The trim only came out to about here because the rest of the wall was covered by the ugly box and so was the seam. So we saved the trim and cut new little pieces to cover these up. Oof. How easy that was. The old butter <laughs> ball knife. The old butter knife trick. The trim cuts really easily with a blade. When you put the trim on, you can use some little finishing nails or some silicone tape, which we like better for looks and durability. Some of our trim pieces on the floor have like kind of jiggled out from travel, so we think that the tape is a much better option. Here they're all hung up. I love it. It just looks so much better. These tie backs are from Amazon and it's a four pack for like $7. They're really nice quality and they're magnetic. They come in four or five different colors. They're really easy to use. You just wrap it around the front and cross it in the back and then bring it around and snap it together. They're so cute. I love how they came out. And when I'm not using them, I just hang them right on the little hook. I think I'm going to get some more tie backs for these too. I tied one on, just tied it in a, in a little knot and it looked really cute. It actually held up better. So I think I'm going to do that for that window and for this window. See, it just looks so much better and hangs so much better with that tie back. And I just tied it just in a little knot and you st I still could wrap it around. Um, but I thought that looked cute, so. So here's the before with the bulky boxes and the black shades, and then after, so bright and big. I have a quick tip. These rods will slide and move around, so you can use some museum putty to keep them in place. And this stuff is amazing. It has kept all of my curtain rods in place on travel days, and I've used it for a few other things too. Putting curtains up is such an easy thing that you can do to make your RV look and feel more like home. For our small kitchen window, I use the command curtain hooks, but in black. And by the way, they come in four different colors. I think it was a uh, bronze, black, white, and then uh, like a nickel finish. And these small clips, they worked really great and they were super cheap. The curtains were a pre-cut fabric that I found at Walmart and I just used the fabric fuse for all the hems and they came out great. I really like them. The only thing is now I want to change the backsplash because I think it clashes with the curtains. One thing about removing the boxes and shades is the window looks much bigger. So for the bigger windows in the kitchen, I grabbed two of these panels and I cut them in half and I have a little bit left over that I might make a pillow or something out of. Um, I think that they matched really well the tan part of the small window curtains. We ran into the same trim issue on the kitchen slide and one piece was installed before the fridge framing was put up. And I swear, when you start doing stuff to your RV, you see all kinds of goofy little things like this. So if you're gonna use rings, make sure that you get enough so that your curtains hang properly. And even if you don't plan on drilling holes, keep the hardware, I made that mistake and ended up having to purchase a support for the center. Didn't they turn out nice? It's so bright and so much better than the black shades. I think I despise the shades probably just as much as the ugly window boxes. And those shades covered so much of the window. They came down to like right about here. We went with regular curtains for these windows so we could get lots of light in here even with the curtains closed. The first morning after I had them up, I walked in and the sun was shining through and it just felt so nice and peaceful. This is definitely one of the best upgrades for sure. In the master bedroom, of course, we did the same blackout curtains because you just never know if your next spot is gonna have a street light blaring when you're trying to sleep. For the tie backs, I used tiny command hooks and I strung these wooden beads that I had left over from another project onto some jute. 
And for the larger window, I did the same, but instead tied a bead on one end and a loop on the other. And then when you tie it back, you just slip the bead through the loop. Instead of the command curtain rod hooks, I went with regular command hooks and a tension rod, partly because of the budget, but also just trying to keep the blackout curtains as close to the wall as possible for the full blackout effect. Let me just show you um, how dark it gets in here. Um, it's about one o'clock right now. It's cloudy, but... Um, it still gets pretty darn dark in here, so I'll show you real quick. It's crazy how dark it gets in here. I can't believe it. These worked really, really well for blackout. Oh. <laughs> so much for drama. won't even focus. See, the camera won't even focus because it's so dark in here. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, that's the light that's coming through the window upstairs in the loft and nothing in here. It's almost too dark, but... <laughs> we are very happy with how everything turned out. Nothing has budged on travel days and they're holding up great. If you need help organizing your RV, click the playlist on the left of your screen. And on the right, if bugs got you bugging, I got you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.